So today we're in Farmingdale, Long Island, and we're building a small pond's waterfall for this beautiful backyard. I mean, look at this backyard. It's not big, but it is nice. It is intimate. It's going to be a great addition to this space. So the area we're going to be working in is right along this shed. Our goal for today is build this retaining wall along the shed, fence, get this aqua basin in, start this waterfall. She already has electric installed here, so that's perfect. We're going to be tying into a dedicated zone for the irrigation. That's going to feed our autofill. On smaller features, like we've always said, you're going to experience some evaporation. So having an autofill on some of these smaller features is great. So you're not out here every single week topping it off. So I'm going to start chopping that tree. So you guys are going on the time lapse. When building your pond's waterfall in Aqua Basin 45, you're gonna the first thing you're gonna want to do is basically look for these little dimples on either side of this pump hole. So this is gonna be your access hole for where the pump's gonna be sitting. And what you're gonna do is drill out this for whatever bulkhead you're using. So we're using inch and a half pipe, so we have an inch and a half bulkhead, and how this works is I'm gonna slide this in. And with these bulkheads, they're reverse thread. The reason for that is when you're installing an MPT fitting and when you're turning it clockwise to tighten it, you're actually tightening the bulkhead more than loosening it. So guys, next you're gonna wanna set your basin and we recommend outlining it with some spray paint and go a little bit bigger, two to three inches wider than your basin is. That way you have some play and you're not taking it out and putting it in every time to readjust it. And then what you'll do is once you get to the proper depth, put your basin in, backfill it, and you'll be able to begin your waterfalls. So right now we got our Aqua Basin 45 completely in. It's right below our tap. And now we're just leveling it. We don't want to get the aqua base completely level. What we actually want to do is pitch it towards where that pump is sitting. The reason for that is when we're doing clean outs and we have to get any sediment, we want to actually push all that sediment to that corner and take it out of the basin. If it was completely level, you would spend a lot more time cleaning this thing out in the future. Next, we're going to get our EPDM liner on top of this fabric and then do another layer of geotextile fabric for so we have a sandwich of fabric and then the liner in the middle. Right now, Rob's getting our inch and a half flex PVC pipe completely trenched in. That's the prep for this diffuser to come up here. This is how our waterfall starts. How this works is the water will enter this bulkhead. It's gonna hit this as a wall, go around this, and then it has to percolate up through this hole. Instead of having the water bubble up really crazy, this diffuses the water so you have more of a natural spring look. We get that pipe trenched in, our liner in. It's time to start picking out rocks. And how we usually do that is, we start off with one of the frame rocks first, and by frame rocks, I mean, usually how we build waterfalls is we have one rock on the left, one rock on the right, and then we have our weir stone right in the middle. So usually how we do it is we pick our frame rock out first, and then our weir stone, and then our other frame rock. So guys, all this, the previous steps gets you to this point, the beginning of the waterfall. And as Kev was saying before, this is what he was trying to explain. How we build our waterfalls is what you see right here. We have a frame rock and a frame rock. A frame rock basically stays to the left and right side of your weir stone. Your weir stone would be where the water actually goes. These kind of corral the water to get pushed in the middle where you kind of want to do it. So right now you see we have this left frame rock and it's a few inches higher than the weir stone. And we have this right frame rock. How this one works, it looks low, but right now you still have a high spot over here. Water would come down and fall down here. This is where your artistic ability comes in. So basically guys, Everyone can put in a basin, set up the liner, get the fundamentals down. However, that's just the basic. It takes a real artist to get a nice looking waterfall and that's where a lot of people struggle. So while it may look easy, building the actual waterfall is the hard part. So anyone attempting it, don't feel bad if your waterfall doesn't look like a professional waterfall the first time around. It takes practice, so keep trying. Good luck. All right guys, another update. As you're building your waterfalls and you got your frame rocks on each side, this is a spillway rock. You're gonna wanna make sure you level these rocks perfectly level side to side and front to back. If it's pitched back just a little bit, that's okay. But really just get it leveled side to side and front to back with the, maybe a slight pitch back if that's not bad.
So right now we got most of the bones of the waterfall basically completely wrapped up. We're gonna have our first spillway. This is gonna be more of a sheet falls. Not gonna give too much sound, but it's gonna be just visually appealing. This one's gonna be like about a five inch drop into the little pooling area. This will give more of a higher pitch sound. Back here we have this one. This one we're hoping to get a little thicker water into a very deep pooling area. Probably about an 8 inch drop so we're going to get a nice rumbling sound with more of a deep bass. Right up here is where our spillway diffuser is going to be going. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the bulkhead on that. If you're looking for a video on how to seam liner or patch any holes in your liner, this is not the video where we were gonna cover that. This is more about how we, the process of building a waterfall and what we do. This is just an added layer of protection of doing the bulkhead. So how the bulkhead works is you have these two rubber gaskets basically. It is a reverse thread bulkhead. So how this works is we're gonna cut basically a hole in the liner that's gonna be the same diameter of this bulkhead. One of these gaskets is going to go inside the liner, one's going to go outside, and then we're going to tighten this, create a compression fitting that's going to seal that water and make it watertight so we don't leak. So right now we're getting ready to edge this waterfall. I did this section over here already, so you can see Rob in the background. What we're aiming to do is cut the liner, leave about six to eight inches of liner just in case if this waterfall ever settles. We have room to pull this liner back up and re-edge the waterfall in the future. If this is your first time building a waterfall, I really recommend not doing this before you turn on the waterfall. I would just edge the waterfall, do not cut it, backfill it, start the system, see where water level really is, and then cut your liner six to eight inches above water level. We've done this a few times where we can kind of assume where water level is. Even then, sometimes we're still wrong. So if you're a first time beginner, do not cut the liner before you start the waterfall. When installing an aqua search pump, inside an aqua basin, what you're gonna wanna do is remove this frame covering, unscrew this guard, and what you're gonna wanna do is actually add a low suction intake. As you can see, this lowers the level where the pumpkin is actually drawing water. It allows you to draw another three to four inches out of the basin. In the one we're building right now, it's not super important because as you can see down there, the water's a little murky so you can't see it in here. We do have an autofill that we're going to be running and tying into a dedicated irrigation zone. Guys, we're standing under the pavilion right now. We completely finished this job. I'm ready to just sit down on this table right now and grab a nice cold beer and just listen to this waterfall because it sounds great. But before we do that, we're gonna go grab Donna and see her reaction. And then after that, we're gonna show you what this waterfall looks like. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Oh, nice. It looks beautiful. Wow. I love it. Yeah. yeah, it looks beautiful. Was this what you were looking for? Yes. Yeah, awesome. exactly. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. It filled out the space nicely. Yes, it did. And yep. it makes a huge impact for a backyard this size. Yeah, no, it looks beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It.